you may well say to me, well, what about with his odds on? The odds on sign is quite simple. Odds on. So any price that I've shown you, if it was followed by an odds on sign, it would mean that the price was evens, then 11 to 10 on, 5 to 2 on. So the bookmaker would actually know what the price is meant. When I said it was quite easy, actually in numbers, there are only so many primary numbers you require. For instance, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 50. Once you know most of those signs, um, you've got it all cracked. For instance, if you know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 and 1 is 6, 5 and 2 is 7. If you want 26, 10, 20, 5 and 1 is 26. If you wanted 58, it's 50, 5, 3, 58. So there are very few numbers really. So, but of course, when the difficult part of course is A, when it becomes speed. You couldn't show to shows to people in the act of transferring money, trading money. Uh, if, if I was showing that that's speed, there wouldn't be sufficient time. Because you've got to imagine, a bookmaker at the time would only be betting on a particular race for probably 15 minutes. And he could take as many as a thousand, oh, sorry, he could take as many as a hundred trading bets in that period. Bets transferring money from the silver ring to tapestals. Bets where the bookmaker and the silver ring were actually laying the horse to the tapestals bookmaker. And all this was done in minute seconds and it was transferred into a ledger at the end of the day so the bookmaker obviously required one hell of a memory. I don't actually remember my father taking as many as a hundred bets and not putting one piece of pen to paper. It was all in his head that he would put down in his ledger at the end of the day. The reason for the tic tac has come pretty to become clear it was the secrecy. You did not want to know anyone else knowing exactly what you were doing, what you were backing, what you were trading, and certainly you didn't want the punters to know the importance of the tic-tac. They would then know before you, or exactly the same time as you, which way the bets were going, the horses were going. For instance, if a horse was being heavily backed, and the tic-tac showed, six to four with a thumb, meaning it was being supported. If he showed six to four, gone. Six to four, gone. It would mean that the six to four had been taken. It would be now being offered as a lesser price. So that would give the bookmakers outside in the silver room the prime knowledge that they must shorten that price, otherwise they would have a bad trading possibility because the horse would shorten. Other things, for instance, as you probably know that um, the bookmaker, the main bookmakers of Ladbrokes Hills uh, used to, in the old days, do a lot of hedging to control their liabilities. With a thousand betting shop, of course, the liabilities could be vast. So they would send money through the telephone links and it was called the blower. So if we wanted to show that they were doing this activity in the ring, we would actually show six to four on the blower. That also would mean that the horse is going to be backed and short considerably. So all these signs would be shown within seconds, within uh, moments of the uh, activity taking place. So it would be keeping your clients, the bookmakers, through their tic tacs in the cheaper enclosures, and up to date running total of exactly what was happening in the ring. Right now we have an example to see who has actually been watching. Six on the field. I'll give you the prices and you can see how much you picked up. Did you get it? Anybody who has, write to me. Cubone underscore bets at hotmail.com 
or you can look into the website and see what else we've got to offer at qbone.co.uk. Great, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to do a few videos on backsliding, which is important and enjoyable. It's about why a carpet was three, or why two was a bottle. Also, I'd like to bring some videos on really important betting coups over the years, 200 years of chicanery, villainy, and people who are trying to get money for nothing. Hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. Cue